Alright, so Russ recently dropped his album Santiago. And I'm a big fan of Russ, man. I think he's a legend for what he's been able to do. He constantly preaches the power of ownership. And he's like the perfect example of what you can achieve independently. Plus, we share the exact same birthdays. So I feel like we're boys, even though he's probably never even heard of me. So yo, in this video, I want to show you how to meet beats for Russ. And he's got a variety of different styles, man. Everything from hip hop to trap to boom bap and soul. But for this one, I want to go with his sampled hip hop style. So I'm thinking a nice soul sample, but crispy modern hip-hop drums so yeah let's get straight into it all right so like i said i want to make something sampled for us so the first thing we're going to need is a sample and today i'm going to be using Tracklib, who are actually today's sponsor i'm sure you've heard me talking about them a lot by now but if for some reason you've been sleeping and you haven't then they're a huge online record store for sampling they have way over 80,000 original compositions for you to flip and if you use the samples in your beats and want to release them properly they make it really easy to actually clear the sample for example we could start by browsing by going through some of the collections some of the different genres or artists or or you can do what I do and just go straight to tracks and then you can start narrowing things down by the genre for example soul we could enter the release year so let's say you want to find a soul sample between 1960 and 1989 you could browse through them all here and then if you want to actually clear the sample you can do it directly through tracklip most of the time I like to flip original compositions that were released like 50 or 60 years ago but today I'm actually going to flip this one because I really like the sound of it <laughs> Just got that really nice R&B and soul feel. And if I wanted to, I could test it with some drums. And even play around with some of the chops. So yeah, they make it really easy to work out what you actually want to do with the sample before you use one of your credits. Especially with this one because it actually comes with the stems which you'll find in a lot of the samples on Tracklib. And if you're happy with the sound of it, you can just click this button to download it and it only costs one credit. But if you want 15 credits plus 30 days completely free, make sure you click the link in the description because it's double the usual amount. And let's get into the beat. All right, so I've actually dragged the stems into this one because I do want to chop it and I might want to rearrange the bass. So for now, I'm actually going to mute the bass. And there's a few different ways you can chop samples you can use Fruity Slicer, you can use Serato or different plugins, but most of the time I like to chop in the playlist. Okay, it sounds like a lot of this might have been played live and it's a little bit off grid, which is fine, but when I start adding drums, it might throw it off. So I just want to stretch them out a bit. So I'm just going to click this button here, start by cutting it there just so I can see it a bit easier. So yeah, like where it starts here, I want that to line up after the eight bar. So I'm just holding alt, clicking and dragging. We'll try it from like here. Test it here as well. A little bit more in time. We'll see how the chop sounds anyway. So I'm just going to play it and then I'll just figure out what parts I want to take. This is one of those samples that you could just add drums to and it would sound sick, but I feel like we need to chop it. So yeah, from like here. I might mute the bass for now too. And then I like how that part of the end leads into it as well. Might even just loop that for now. So I'll just take the parts that I want. I'll bring them down. This bit as well. See how that looks around. So I like the way that sounds. I'm going to set everything to generic bleeding just so I don't hear those clicks. Just makes it so there's no sudden end when you chop it. All right, so that bit sounding sick, but we need to find another one. Mm, maybe this bit. So we'll take this as well, bring this over here, and then we'll just see how it transitions. Or maybe I could bring this over. We'll copy this and then just have a break of the vocals or extend this one part here. Mm. There we go. I saved that for here. Copy this over. Then even copy this over. Yeah, this one's going to be vibey, man. And then the vocals can come back in. All right, let's just see if we could take one more part. Okay, maybe something from here. Like this bit, I like this section. Could just loop it. So yeah, we'll copy this down, copy it over again. Let's fade this out. All 
All right, I think we're getting somewhere. I think this is sounding nice now. So I'm just going to get rid of everything else. What I'm also going to do is highlight everything. Control shift and L to link them to a mixer. Control click and drag to highlight everything. Then right click and root to this track only. And this will just group them together. It will add sound shifter because I want to try and pitch up a few semitones. Then I'm just going to add an EQ. And just clean out some of the muddiness. I always find the low mids tend to clash with the 808s. I don't even know if I'm using an 808 yet, but I just want to tidy that up. All right, before I do anything else, I just want to see what it sounds like with drums on it to make sure we've got the bounce right. So yeah, we'll just add a pattern here. And in Santiago, I heard a lot of rim shots. So we're going to use a rim for this one. I will use my timeless boom bap kit because a lot of these sounds were taken from live drum sounds. So we're going to get that acoustic feel. We'll use this one. And then we'll grab a hat. Try this one. We can start by filling each two step and then we'll hold shift, click and drag to copy it. And then I'm just going to bring the velocity of these ones down using alt and the mouse wheel. But you don't want to stop there because even though we've got some of the velocities different, it's still going to sound robotic. So what I like to do is just make each one a little bit different. And then we can bring some off the grid by holding alt, clicking and dragging. So yeah, just moving some off and then just playing with the velocity. So once I've got the first pattern I like, we can copy that with control and B and then just change this one a little bit more. Just sort of changes. All right, it's sounding nice. We can copy that. I'm just gonna bring that out up on the rim. Might even pitch it down one. And we'll grab a kick. We'll try this heaven one. I like the sound of this big kick as well. I just want some notes that are a bit lower, similar to the hats. I can just bring it a little bit off grid and I want a really simple bounce. Even just this to start with. A lot of Russ's beats have simple kicks. All right, I think we could swap it for this heaven kick. I like the heaven one and this big kick. This might be the one for this vibe. All right, next up, we'll add a hat or open hat. Already got a nice one up here. But then in the hi hat, what I'm going to do is mute the hats every time an open hat comes in. The shortcut for the mute tool is just T and then I can just click and drag over the notes I want to mute. the hats i'm gonna set it to cut itself and then just bring the out knob up a bit all right next up i want to add a bass line because now that i've pitched it up and chopped it bass is just sounding a bit too high i just want to simplify it as well so yeah we'll use my favorite live bass guitar the rickenbacker one i think it's hitting on e want to keep this kind of live sounding though so what i like to do is have some of the notes again just a tiny bit off and then not finishing suddenly on a line we could just have it tail over we'll try it this too okay i like the sound of that so we can copy it There we go. And then right at the end again, this bass changes one last time. So I'm just going to make this one unique. Yeah, it's just that. All right, I'm also going to make a reverb bus. I will just use some plate reverb because this one's going to be for the drums. We'll bring the low cut up, just bring the decay down. We'll just call it reverb. All right, from here, I'm going to just split those drums. And then I want to get a drum fill in somewhere just to spice up the end of every like eight bar or 16. Just stretch it. Yeah, that one sounds sick. Just going to cut the end. So those little touches that will make the difference and then sometimes what i like to do for hip-hop beats is to add an 808 underneath the bass guitar but it's really just going to be the sub so i'm going to go to my source boom bap kit we'll just grab this deep 808 we'll copy the live guitar in we'll set this so that it stops when the note ends and then we'll bring up the attack of it and let's just see how it sounds bring that up an octave 
you might need headphones on to hear it or monitors. So let me show you with and without. So this is without. Sounds nice, but there's not a lot of really low end. And then when we bring this 808 in, you're getting all of that sub now. And the reason it sounds good is because when I made this 808, I took out a lot of the high end. You can see it's only really hitting the sub area. And then if you look at the guitar, it's getting the upper frequencies. So they're not really clashing. And then to clean up some of that low end more, I'm actually gonna side chain the kick, but just a little bit. So we click on the kick, right click on the 808, side chain to this track. And then I like to use Kickstart 2. Go to processing, select the kick in side chain, select audio, and then I only want it to cut through the low end. So I'll change this band to about, maybe about there. Let's just see how it sounds. Bring down the mix. And I'm actually going to bring the sub out of the bass guitar. Alright, next up we'll go back to my timeless boom bap kit and we'll add a ride. I think the king one sounds best. And then the same thing again, I just play with the velocity and the position. And to be honest, for Russ beats, you really don't need more drums than this. If you listen to a lot of his beats, he likes a simple beat, man. He likes his voice to be heard. But I can keep it interesting with the arrangement. So let's just copy it out a few times. All right, so let's just bring this out. And maybe we could start with just the keys. We'll bring the live bass guitar in. And then I'm going to turn off the EQ in this section. I'm only going to use the 808 in certain parts. So we could add this room in here. And then, yeah, maybe actually cut the hats. I'm feeling the way that sounds. We'll just save the ride for this section. And then maybe we could take the 808 back out there. I'll just cut the whole thing. Cut this too. All right, I'm going to change this a bit. So I'm going to cut everything here. I'm going to copy this out, get rid of this whole section, have this repeat a few times. Yeah, so let's save this bit for like here, get rid of these and we'll repeat this. one more time and then we'll cut the vocals a bit and yeah i want that eight weight in this section so i've just brought the eq back on we'll see how it sounds yeah then it moves on to here or we could keep it on like this we could cut then we can bring this ending back all right maybe the last thing we could add is just a crash I'm thinking just after this part turn it down All right, so let's have a listen from the beginning. So yeah, just starting off with the keys and the guitar. And if you want to flip this sample yourself, the link's in the description. So yeah, we got the live bass guitar now and the hats. Sounding smooth. And the ride. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one, man. Different to my usual stuff. So, yeah, we got a bit of a breakdown here at the start of the verse. Just the bass guitar, and now the 808 again. A simple beat too but I feel like Ross would love something like this and then just coming up to the bridge so yeah if you're feeling this one and you want to see more soulful beats then just click up here or if you want to see me cook up some drill click up here 